Hello and welcome to this short screencast. Um, this screencast been, has been produced in response to uh, the very recent Resuscitation Council guideline changes uh, of 2015. Uh, this session will concentrate on the Adult Basic Life Support guideline changes. Uh, we're going to summarise the changes within this session. Uh, we're going to help you uh, to identify and find the guidelines on the Resuscitation, Guide, on the Resuscitation Council website. Um, as a note of caution, this isn't going to be an instructional CPR video, uh, it is just a summary of the changes. Um, it is recommended that uh, if you don't already hold a CPR qualification that you gain one uh, through an accredited organisation. If you visit our website www.mountaintrauma.co.uk you will find an array of basic life support courses to choose from. So here's the 2015 Adult Basic Life Support algorithm. You'll note um, that this remains unchanged from uh, previ the, the, the previous algorithm of 2010. There is still an emphasis on early CPR uh, and earlier um, defibrillation, and it's still emphasised that the AED, as soon as the AED arrives, it's switched on and prompts are followed without min with minimal disruption to CPR. So we're going to summarise the changes, linking them to each of the the uh, So we're going to briefly summarise the changes and um, link them to the links of the chain of survival. So the first link there is the early recognition call for help. Uh, so um, the only real thing that's come out of the guidelines this time around is that uh, seizure-like episodes that are due to reduce blood flow uh, to the brain following a cardiac arrest should not be confused with epilepsy. So it's still important you receive the training um, and you're competent to um, distinguish between the two. Early bystander CPR um, is proven to double or quadruple survival rates in those that have out of hospital cardiac arrests. Um, however, currently only 40% of victims receive bystander CPR in the UK. So the Resuscitation Council recommendations is that um, it's made available, CPR training is made available to every school child um, and it, sh it should be, um, a course should be undertaken by anyone that has the ability to, to do such a, um, a course. Third link in the chain is the early defibrillation. Um, if we can defibrillate within three to five minutes of collapse, um, then we can expect uh, survival rates to be as high as 70%. Um, therefore, there's still a big push for public access defibrillators. And again, the Resuscitation Council guidelines recommend um, that these AEDs or public access AEDs um, go into more public, um, large, large scale public areas such as train stations, shopping centres, etc. It's also recommended that they go into schools. Another point the resuscitation guidelines recommend is that those with public access defibrillators uh, register their location with their local ambulance service. And that ambulance services should have systems in place uh, to identify and pinpoint or, or pass on the details of location to the 999 caller. Fourth link there is post-resuscitative post, post care um, or early advanced life support. Um, key thing here to remember, although although this is kind of paramedic intervention, doctor intervention, um, as a as a bystander initiating this chain of survival, you have um, quite a big influence on that last link. If the other if the early links aren't there, such as the early recognition call for help and early CPR, um, then uh, we're not going to get the the early advanced life support. Finally, just going to show you how to find the Adult Basic Life Support Guidelines on the Resuscitation Council UK website. So the web, web address you need is uh, www.resus.org.uk. Um, you'll find the home page then, comes up like this. Simply, you need to head for Guidelines and Guidance, and it's at the very top. Just click through, 
and you'll get a web page version of the guidelines. What you can do is you can download, download these to um, PDF by simply clicking the PDF add button. It will add you to add it to your basket. It's doing it as we speak. And then you'll see that you've got that now in your basket. Click through to the basket. Double check that it's what you want to download. So adult basic life support and AED. Um, click download and it will download it to wherever your downloads are saved to. In my case on this Mac, it will show up down here in downloads. And there it is. Okay, um, so that concludes the 2015 Resuscitation Council guideline changes for adult basic life support.